Welcome back to Yankee Steiner Memories of the Game. I'm Brandon Steiner, and today we're talking with many members from the Super Bowl Giants football team. My next guest was born in England, raised in Nigeria, but on the football field, he's all American. Lyman Osiyumiura was a large part of the Giants' defensive performance in Super Bowl 42, a performance that will be called the greatest in Super Bowl history. What's it like growing up in Nigeria? Oh, it, was, it was fun, man. It was, it was a lot of fun. I think um, the area of Nigeria I grew up in and the schools I went to, we tried our best to emulate what we saw of Americans on TV. So a, a lot of things that you guys had or did over here, we were trying to emulate and do over there. So when I came over here, it wasn't that much of a culture shock for me. Now, while we're talking about Nigeria, you got to get, what, how, do you, how would you spell your first name? I mean, what is your, <laughs> what is your real first name? My real first name, the whole thing? Yeah. Is Osi Tadema Ogemdi Iloabuchi Yumeyor. That sounds like a very serious limited edition on a collection <laughs> we probably would do with something. Yeah. Now, what does that, does that stand for something? It means, that, um, it means from today things would be good. Boy, they got that right. Yeah, from today things well, would be good. That's good. interesting. Growing up have a particular player that you looked up to, player that you wanted to be like? Uh, you know, I didn't really even hear about American football until I was 15 years old. So growing up, it was mostly soccer. But once I got here, the strangest thing was the, the guy who I really, really admired was Carl Pickens. He was a receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I don't know why, but I really did. I liked him a lot. And that's pretty much it. Are you motivated for next season the same way you've been the last few years or even more motivated? I'm, I'm, even, I'm even more motivated. You know, I feel like um, last year I should have been better. And I feel like um, this year and the years coming up are going to be my best years. Man, I don't think I've reached my peak. I don't think I've reached where I'm supposed to be at. When you think back on the Super Bowl game, what's the moment that's going to stay in your mind and, and just you just go, wow? The moment was when I'd have, I'd have to say, I know it's a cliche right now, but when Tyree made that catch, and I just knelt down, and it, it was an unbelievable feeling because I knew at that point that there was no way we were going to lose that football game. Because seeing the way things um, transpired, the way Eli got out of that thing, the way he threw the ball, and the way Tyree who pretty much hadn't caught a pass all week, was able to, was able to make that catch. It was, it was unbelievable. I was so happy for him and happy for the Giants. You going for another one? Same way, same conviction? Man, I think, to be completely honest with you, I think if we're able to keep the core of this team together, or the players that we, we have who are good players, I think we'll be able to compete for a couple of years. I'm not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl every year, but I think we'll have a good, strong football team for the next couple of years, at least five years. So OC predicts a strong team for the next five years. I kind of like the sound of that. My next guest is also a member of that incredible Giants defensive line. Justin Tuck had five tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble in Super Bowl 42. He typifies the Giants defensive assets with strength, Speed. I wanted a co-MVP. Okay. I wanted you and O.C. Really? Were my two MVPs. But did, how did you feel the game went? And give me your, that moment that you remember forever in that game. Um, I think the moment I remember forever is, uh, well, it's a lot of them. But just from a personal stance, um, the two sacks I had against Brady um, for, for two reasons. One, um, there was kind of big sacks and kind of helped swing momentum our way. Uh, going into halftime, and it's in the Super Bowl. And then again, you know, you get the sack, probably a guy that's going to go down in, uh, in history as one of the best quarterbacks to ever play this football game. When you were standing over Brady, I know you weren't asking him if he was okay, but what were the words that were exchanged there? I mean, were you talking to him during that game at all? A little or? bit, man. Uh, mostly, you know, he told me, you know, to slow down a couple of times, and I was telling him to hold the football a little longer, things like that. Other than that, I mean, I think he got a – I got a couple of grunts out of him on some good hits, but other than that, it was, you know, we would look at each other and he was, he would kind of frown, I would kind of smile, things like that. It wasn't, it wasn't many words though. You wore him down. Yeah, we, I, we did. We definitely did. Um, I think that's the, not only is the most times he's been hit in a football game, I think that's the most times we have hit a quarterback in a football game. And a lot of people want to say like the Philly game. We had more sacks in the Philly game, but we hit Brady uh, more times than we hit McNabb in that football game. What's the most fun you've had since the end of the season? Is it one thing that, you know, since you've won the championship, something that sticks out in your mind? Uh, <laughs> many. Yeah, many. Um, but I think the biggest thing was probably that parade. That parade was awesome. Um, I, I've told a lot of people I really understood what it what it meant to be like a rock star in, in a certain sense, um, having you know millions of fans uh, screaming your name and uh, throwing confetti and all of that. So I think that's, the, that's probably the biggest and, and most surprising 
uh, event that has taken place.